At the time of production, the unpretentious fourth-generation Fiesta subcompacts cost more than their mid-range Ford Escort peers. In the secondary market, their prices are almost equal, but we still wonder if such a small game is worth the can. This car was represented by two of the most running in the B-Class body options, three and five door hatchbacks. Moreover, the latter were officially supplied by the Ukrainian importer, but the three doors, as a rule, were fitted by domestic distillers. In addition, there are also Fiesta-based truck versions of the Ford Courier, which are even more common than hatchbacks. Initially, the Fiesta bodies were not galvanized, and the manufacturer decided to resort to such metal protection only in the last years of the model's release, starting in 2000. In this regard, on cars of the first years of production, the rear wheel arches may turn out to be rusty. Although, as the employees of the company service noted, the arches do not corrode as much as, for example, on the old Ford Scorpio and Sierra. Worse, over time, due to the lack of lubrication, rust grabs the spare wheel mount suspended from the outside under the trunk floor, and it is not possible to use the spare wheel. The volume of the Fiesta cargo compartment is one of the smallest among classmates, 250-930 liters versus 260-1050 liters for the Opel Corsa, 255-1035 liters for the Renault Clio 2 and 245-975 liters for the VW Polo 3. The exterior design of the pre-styling Fiesta does not evoke enthusiastic emotions. Updated versions look much more attractive, but the interior remained unchanged. It is designed to match the appearance, too rustic. Plastic parts are hard to the touch, although, according to the owners, they do not annoy with extraneous creaks. There are no complaints about visibility either. By the way, the design of the front seats and the three doors is worthy of praise. When the backrest is thrown forward, the pillow also shifts slightly along the course of the car, which makes it easier to get off slash off. Although it is inconvenient to fasten a seat belt in these modifications, you have to stretch too far back to it. In terms of spaciousness in the back seat, the Fiesta is quite comparable to many classmates, the three are cramped there. Many Fiesta are well equipped, power steering, front airbags, central locking, power mirrors and windows, air conditioning and ABS are not uncommon. The weak point of the interior heating system is the stove tap, equipped with an electric drive, which on average lasts about three years, two parts are combined in a single unit which costs about $70. Some units were partially inherited from the fourth-generation Fiesta predecessor, a 1.3-liter gasoline and a 1.8-liter diesel. True, the latter are more common among the Pies Ford Courier, but the rest, the new 1.2-liter and 1.4-liter ZTEC gasoline series, are borrowed from Mazda, which, as you know, is part of the Ford concern. According to the motorists of the branded service station, these Japanese engines have proven themselves to be the most problem-free during operation. The only characteristic minus is that on old cars the valve cover gasket can leak, spare part at a branded service station, $20, work, $15. The timing of these units is driven by a belt, which is recommended to be changed every 100,000 kilometers, the period for the original consumable. During this procedure, it is also necessary to check and, if necessary, just the thermal gaps in the gas distribution mechanism. There are cars with gasoline units of the Enduro E series with a volume of 1.3 liters with a lower camshaft and a timing chain drive, which, as a rule, lasts until overhaul. These engines are distinguished by a small motor resource, about 150,000 kilometers, and after 100,000 kilometers they have increased oil consumption due to wear of the cylinder piston group. By this time, the valve lifters and camshaft are also wearing out. Thermal valve clearances are recommended to be adjusted every 10,000 kilometers, work, $18. If, after performing this operation, the engine continues to knock, get ready for a major overhaul, it will cost from $500, labor and spare parts. When buying diesel versions, it is better to choose a more modern 1.8-liter turbocharged unit. Its naturally aspirated version had issues with injector gaskets, parts $7 and labor $6 each. Most Fiestas are equipped with manual 5-speed gearboxes, but CBT versions are rare. Moreover, service workers recommend not contacting such instances, since Fiesta CBTs do not have a large resource. On average, it is about 150,000 kilometers, and then expensive repairs will be needed, over $2,000, for which, moreover, not all service stations will undertake.
Therefore, when buying, it is better to give preference to versions with traditional mechanics. Even though she is not innocent, it noted oil leaks from under the axle shaft seals, spare parts, $7 in labor, $8 per one PC, and the gear shift seal, spare parts, $6 in labor, $12. In addition, on older cars, the gear shift rocker can cause problems, it gets clogged with dirt, rusts and sometimes wedges. Evidence of this is the difficult movement of the gear shift lever. If cleaning and lubrication of the assembly fails, you will have to replace it. The cost of a branded backstage is from $100 to $300. The clutch is hydraulically driven. On many machines, when the engine is idling, you can hear the noise of the release bearing. When the clutch is depressed, the unpleasant sound disappears. According to experts, this is not a problem, but a technical feature of the clutch. Compared to the competition, the Fiesta's suspension is softer and more durable. The rear silent block of the front lever can go up to 80,000 kilometers, spare part. $20, work, $30, but the front one lasts much longer. More often, after 40,000 kilometers, you will have to change the bushings of the front anti-roll bar, spare part, $10, work, $20. The first sign of their malfunction is a characteristic creak. Yes, and the rear semi-independent suspension can go out for about 100,000 kilometers. The weak point of the steering Fiesta is the drive shaft of the steering shaft which on older cars is often worn out. Moreover, the card and shaft changes along with the lower part of the shaft, spare part, $120, work, $24. Over time, the steering rack bushing also breaks, which is manifested by a knock when driving over bumps, steering rack repair kit, $45 and work, $60. But the tie rod ends can last up to 100,000 kilometers. In the drums, the self-advanced mechanism of the pads is wedged, which worsens the braking efficiency. Treatment of the disease, cleaning and lubricating the mechanism, work, about $30. Buying a Ford Fiesta is most relevant for young residents of Ukrainian cities. And if we talk about Ford models, then we would recommend the more capacious and spacious older brother escort to everyone else. Fiesta for those who most often ride together, maximum four and are not particularly demanding on the appearance of their vehicle pre-styling versions do not particularly shine with attractiveness. Due to the simple design, maintenance and maintenance of the car are inexpensive. This is facilitated by a wide offer of inexpensive alternative spare parts.